Hello, lovely people. I just had some uh, great news recently there. I just wanted to share with you about the, the wee Bach record. Um, a guy from the Billboard charts emailed us and told us it was actually charting. And that's thanks to uh, you guys who are uh, listening to it, you know, and uh, I'm just so grateful. And, you know, I kind of assumed that it would be um, number 479 or something. But it was actually number 8 in the classical billboard charts, which is like crazy. I just can't wrap my head around it. And then it's still number 8 for the second week, which was just uh, amazing. Um, I, think it, I think just ahead of me is the Suzuki Violin Method CDs for violin. Um, which is pretty funny and uh, and then number one is uh, John Williams now here's me looking over John Williams is number one and then I click on the record and it's just like Harry Potter music I'm telling you like the only John Williams that should be number one in the classical charts is the most badass guitar player of all time um, obviously I love John Williams the composer too especially the Star Wars but um, but I'd just like to thank you so much. It's like amazing news. Um, never thought anyone would really even hear this. But um, and then a, another wee bit of exciting news um, is I have the the Bach edition here. I'm gonna sh show you my, the book. My uh, let me see if I can figure out how to flip the old phone around. How do you do that? Oops. Yeah. you can't do it in cinema mode um i'll just turn it around so this is the bach edition you know the similar cover to the cd which a photograph i took with my old iphone so it's got um all these pieces my teacher and mentor stanley yates the jedi guitar master he uh, typeset this beautifully. He's like an award-winning engraver, and as well as being a superhero guitar player. So you can see it's a, it's a little bit unusual for guitar scores because um, it's a lot of it's done in double staff, so we can fit all the, the fingerings in and stuff without it being a big mess. Um, so look at that. It just looks lovely. I'm so happy. And uh, Stanley even was kind enough to do uh, comparison scores in the back. So you can see the uh, original notes. And these are for any of the ones that I've added things to. So you can see the Chaconne there. This is like the, um, the one on the top is the original in the, you know, relatively in this key. And then you can see all the additions. And, uh, you know, if you don't like it, you can make your own one. <laughs> Whatever tickles your fancy. So it's really cool. And uh, I thought I'd, there's a wee poem in here I'd like to read for you as well. Um, it's in the foreword, which is a, a poem that's it's about Glenn Gold, one of my heroes, one of my um, music heroes. But it's also about Bach, you know, in general. And as Glenn Gold being this kind of emissary of Bach, you know, and who almost created a, a mini Bach revival on his own, you know. So um, <clears throat> it's kind of written in the, almost like a poetic fugue in a way. And if you're not familiar with Bach's great work, The Art of Fugue, um, you can look it up on YouTube. I'll put a wee link to Glenn Gold playing it, and, and hopefully you can imagine the imagery of Glenn Gold playing the Art of Fugue. If you can't, go ahead and watch, you know, in the link, and uh, maybe some of the images will make sense, because Glenn Gold used to bring his own wee chair to his performances, which is really low, and he would kind of hunch over the piano and uh, play with his amazing sensitivity and 
rhythmic drive and clarity of voices. So anyway, this is Glenn Gould, The Art of Fugue for the great Irish painter Ross Wilson. Hunch over, poster child of poor posture, in poverty of patience for people. Master misanthrope, marooned on this piano, this thing, what is it but a great wheel? And who are you but a dentist, tinkering with the teeth of an orca? Ahab, arguing with his breached nemesis, or even Jonah, swallowed whole by a black hole. Hunch over, you crooning crone, you hamlet hag, you handsome hunchback. Nosferatu creeping up Steinway stairs. The more you tune in, the more you tune out, the more on crowd. Secretary of ecstasy, type out a text worthy of this earth and the next. Birth and unearth and unload this holy polyphonic Morse code upon those undermanned and stranded on the oceans of unworthy emotions. Don't play the notes, pray the notes, preach the line, reach for the nostrils of heaven, lean in, hunch over, transcend the temporal, tempest fugit sometimes flees altogether in the presence of a fugue. Lean in, hunch over, monstrous mechanic, don't stop tinkering till you fix the engine of this tragic time machine. Get her started, let's get out of here, let's blow this joint, get us there, get to the point that touches all points. Remove the mask, back bent forward, bend back space and time. Is that too much to ask? Priestly Prospero, hunch over, preach the greatest cosmological argument, the orgasm of order that is back. With a sorcerer's stare, alchemical, fanatical, maniacal, you peer into your cauldron filled with bone and wire, your flickering fingers transformed into Promethean fire. <laughs>